fellas. Boy just left the meat market, man. Had to come grab me some chicken wings. Finally got a day off, man. Uh, I've been taking care of my business or whatever. It ain't that cold out, you know. It's it's Michigan warm. But I just left Cattleman's Meat Market. That's where I get my meat at, man. Go get your meat from the meat market. Stop getting your meat out these grocery stores. They pump that shit full of preservatives. You don't know what the hell you're eating half the time, man. Get fresh meat. You know what I'm saying? I tried that come right off the farm. You know, they, they meat come right off of Michigan farms, man. So, you know, go to the meat market, man. Got my little man with me. Say what's up, MJ. <laughs> yeah, man, I just, uh, just had to grab me some wings, man. Get ready to fry up a few wings and some french fries tonight. Some weekend type of meal. Um, some buttermilk chicken, man, and some, um, some good old french fries. So, you know, I'm, um, I'm doing it to watch the game tonight. You know, the Pistons play tonight, man. You know, uh, the Lions played last night, but I kind of figured what happened was going to happen. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. It ain't like we ain't used to it here in Detroit. They done screwed us how many years now? So, hey. But anyways, I think the Pistons going to go ahead and get revenge on uh, Milwaukee tonight. So, definitely want to Cook me up some wings, man. Probably grab me a beer or two. Watch the game. You know, I'll see what my man Drum Drum can do against Greg Monroe this time. Can't let Drake, uh, Greg Monroe get away with that victory they got last time. So come on, boy. Stop playing. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Just, just out here doing my, doing my business, man. Running my errands, man. Paying bills and grocery shopping. So, you know what I'm saying? I I catch up with y'all uh, in the second part of this video when I get home and I, I go ahead and prep my wings and get ready to cook them. I'm going to show y'all how I do my wings and stuff like that, man. Haven't really did no cooking videos or nothing. So, uh, Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and do that today, man. So, so, what's up? My other little guy here. Say what's up, Knight. That's my little man right there too. He um he's a Labrador pit mix. You know, I don't want no pit bull, man. You know, that's all they got in my neighborhoods growing up, you know. Pit bulls, vicious dogs, you know. If I'm gonna have a pit, it's gonna be mixed with something. And why not be mixed with one of the most brilliant dogs on the planet? A Labrador. So that's my little man night man. Go ahead and strap my son in this car. I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. Yo, what's up, y'all? I was on my way up for the meat market, man, and I heard a big boom. So I've been watching what's been going on, man. It's a bad car accident out here, man. You know, just praying for the the, the, the victims in the car accident. Hope that uh, my body got hurt, man. But I mean, bad accident, man. That car is total, man. Don't know how old the, uh, the people was. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I hope ain't nobody, uh, get killed or nothing like that, man. That's, that's crazy. You know, as soon as I was getting ready to come out, I just hear, boom, I thought it was an explosion or something like that. Uh, but the ambulance is still there. I don't know if they got to go ahead and try to cut them out the car or something like that, but yeah, it's bad, man. What's up, everybody, man? Got my chicken prepped and ready. Seasoned it, seasoned flour, got my buttermilk, got my grease hot, indicator light, it's ready to go. Copy one of these at Walmart, man, at $39.99. Uh, they come with a one big basket and two small baskets. That good because that's the big basket. And then you got the two small ones up here. So, uh, and they're not really that small. They look small on this camera, but they're a pretty nice size. So. I'm pretty much going to do all of this chicken just in this one basket right here. So, you know, that's a nice little buy or whatever, man. They got a, a little window on there so you can look at your food once you put the, uh, put the lid on there. Uh, these are the seasonings that I use. This here is the shit. You need to get it. 
and that not that first place is is serious. It really was first place. I know it's a rib rub, but as you can see, it say I use it on everything, and I do too. Um, man, I mean that seasoning, you really won't even need too much of anything else. I can go raw with this and not even put none of this on there. That chicken's still going to taste good. That's how good that seasoning is, man. Stop using that ghetto-ass Lowry's. Shit going to give you high blood pressure, man. This has some good ingredients in it. Um, but yeah, man, that's how I get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, let me go ahead and show y'all how this get down. Toss a few of these wing dings in this buttermilk. I won't put too many. Mix that up. Got me working with one damn hand. Mix that up real good. Flour. Make sure you try to get some of that buttermilk off of there. You don't want too much. You want big uh, balls of crumbled up flour. You know, I work with my hands, man. You know, I see a lot of people be really wearing gloves and all that shit. I don't know where y'all from, but that ain't how we cook where I'm from. Use your hands. Get in there. Then just pop on the sink and rinse them off. All this thick ass flour. Alright. Let's go ahead and get these in this basket. Drop the basket on like a plate or something like that or something that can catch uh, the excess flour when you drop them in. You don't want to put too much flour in your deep fryer. You want to be able to use that grease. But you see how the flour is sticking on there, man. Make sure you get you a good grade of buttermilk. Don't go buy that cheap. Great value ass buttermilk from Walmart. But to each his own, you know, some people, you know, you got to get what you can afford. Give it a little shake. Try to even them out a little bit. Let's see what we can get. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Alright, y'all. Go ahead and let these cook, man. Uh, I'll come back, man. When I get some of them done, show y'all what they look like coming out the grease. Uh, drop the fries in there. We don't get everything going, man. It's only uh, it's 5.44 right now in the D. So, you know, around game time or... Shit, as greedy as I am, probably before game time, I'll probably uh, I'll probably be uh, finished with the product, man. So I catch y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, I'm back, man. Finished product, well, part of it. Let me see if I can get this chicken game close up for y'all. Look at that, man. That's beautiful. Gold brown deep fried extra crispy chicken this ain't your traditional fried chicken this is the extra crispy I uh, went ahead and um, went ahead and let it sit in the flour with the buttermilk on it man so it can go ahead and give me this nice 
extra crispy coating on here, man. But look at that color, man. I don't even want to imagine yet what, what it tastes like. I don't want to take a bite either because I'll probably sit here and eat the whole damn thing. But yeah, man, this fryer is official, man. Y'all need to go get one. $39, Walmart. You don't need them big stupid propane ass fryers and all that stupid stuff, man. Grab it, sit it right there on your counter. Get done with it, clean it up. Put it up. Simple as that, man. So I'll catch y'all back around uh, game time. About to get ready to go. Grab me a food, probably one or two beers, man. So I catch y'all at game time. Finished up, man. Got the kitchen all jacked up or whatever. Chicken, french fries, had me a beer. But of course I told y'all that the Pistons was gonna beat the Bucks ass because they owe the Bucks. Greg Monroe wasn't getting away with that fluke ass victory they got last time. You know the Pistons is a better team than the Bucks, so it is what it is. Uh, I mean, you had, you know, of course you had a monster game from Andre Drummond. Uh, pulled down 23 rebounds. I'm glad he did that. You know, keep that average high. Um, and sure, your spot in that All Star game. Uh, but other than that, man, everybody else played well too. So all around, it was a good game, man. They was kicking the Bucks' ass, man. I mean, everybody looked good. Shots was dropping. Good game. Nice, good game to watch, man, especially when you have a nice meal to go with it and a cold beer. So, you know, uh, that's the conclusion of my day, man. Tomorrow, I'm, I'll probably be watching Michigan State uh, basketball and football. Um, put my kids' bunk bed together, man. Probably go outside, drop a thermostat in my car. Car, uh, heat ain't coming out, man. The engine's staying cool. Temperature uh, gauge won't go past the uh, cool level, man. So I got antifreeze constantly flowing. Thermostat probably stuck open, so it's been a while. So other than that, man, uh, I'm going to let y'all meet my wife. I know y'all ain't never seen my wife on my page. She at the computer. Say, hey, babe. It's my wife, y'all. Looking like a school teacher. <laughs> but nah, man, that's it, man. It's, it's so good. I'm watching it again, man. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'll catch up with y'all cats, man. Probably uh, do a video tomorrow, depending on uh, which one I decide to do automotive or about Michigan State. So, try to do as many as I can when I'm on my off days, man, because, you know, I, most of the times I have to do them before I go to work work or at work, so I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the game. Uh, drop it in the comments about anything that y'all want to see me cook, man. I'm a hell of a cook, and I'm not just saying that. I'm a hell of a cook. I cook a lot, um, so, you know, any requests, anything like that, leave it in the comments, man, and I'll catch up with y'all catch tomorrow. Y'all have a good night.